It is time now for the Sports Guys. I'm joined by Larry and his thoughts before the NBA playoffs arrive this coming weekend. The Spurs score back-to-back wins on the road, a rarity this regular season. Very rare. I think it only happened once this season. How important will that be since they must start on the road in the postseason? Well, I think any victory on the road for the Spurs late in the season has to give them some extra confidence um, because you're right. They're going to start on the road in the NBA playoffs. We don't know exactly where yet, so it has to help their confidence for sure. It's, it's interesting to me because it, these are two terrible teams they beat, yeah. basically. And then they lost to a team at home they should have beat. That was Sacramento. But at least they're coming up into this point to the last game of the regular season where they have a chance now at least to move up to six. And we're going to talk more about that. Just how deep will the Spurs playoff run be this year? Well, it depends on who they play. <laughs> exactly. Right? If they play Denver, I think they can win that series. I know the Nuggets hammered them earlier last week, but I just still think they have a chance to win that series. Um, what was their regular season? That was 2-2. Right. <clears throat> Houston beat the Spurs in the regular season three games to one, so right. I think that would be a first-round exit for the Spurs if they face Houston. Well, and they, in order to face Houston, they'd have to move up to six, yeah, right? which, which is a possibility. Yeah. If they play Golden State, I feel Golden State will win that series. But the regular season series was interesting. We only saw one game where both teams were at full Everybody's strength. Everybody's healthy, right. And that was here in town when the Spurs won. Right. And Clay Thompson said, nah, we just missed our shots, which I think is somewhat true because they did miss – some easy shots that night. But, but a little bit, that's I a slap in the Spurs' to, face, yeah, too, don't I think you think? You have to give the Spurs some credit because right. they really played well that game. Right. And the other two games, players, they were missing teams, sure. you know, missing players, so those didn't, were, were not really a good indication. If they wind up falling to eighth, I think they use that as somewhat a little bit of a battle cry going yeah. into that first round series against, oh, they really weren't that good on defense. We were just that bad on offense. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Are you stunned the Alliance of American Football folded with still two games, only two games left in the regular season? <sighs> I'm more bummed out probably yeah. than, than stunned because just the stories you read out there, Tom Dundon, this and that, it doesn't surprise us based on things we've heard. But as a fan, I'm totally bummed out because it was just two more regular season games and then, what, two playoff games? Yep, that's it. Semifinals and championship. You know. And I can't believe you can't get it. I know he already lost $70 million. I don't have $70 million to lose, so I can't feel his pain, so I don't know what it's like. <laughs> but at the same time, this is a guy who says he didn't do his homework. You're going to throw $250 million into a project and you don't do your homework. And then once you get in there, you change the rules. You say the reason why we're not succeeding is because we're not being allowed NFL players to drop down and play in the air. That's That could not be farther from the truth. Yeah. And as far as I know, it was never discussed in the so-called business model to begin with. It was a way to develop people for the NFL, not dropping people down for like rehab or anything. Sounds like some lies were told. All right. Is there a chance, as a result, that the AF can retool and restart next season? I don't see it happening. I mean, who's going to come up with the money needed now to, to try to get this league running? I unfortunately think it's come to an end. And how many bills are already left unpaid yeah. that still will have to be paid before anybody would believe they would exist again? Exactly. It would be hard to convince people to pour their money into something that did not make a profit. It would. All right. NCAA Final Four. Who in the world had Texas Tech of Virginia in the championship game in Minneapolis tomorrow? Did you, young man? No, no, I didn't. I did not. But there are I'm two going for Texas Tech. Yep. There are two people in this newsroom who will win our brackets here because they went to Texas Tech. Yeah. Now, I'll give Katie Blake credit. She rode the Red Raiders all the way to the championship game. She did. David Sears bailed. He did. He did not yeah. ride them to the championship yeah. game. But Way to go, David. Come yeah, on. Yeah, way to commit. He, he got them on. And i got to be honest with you. Before that, I almost put Texas Tech in the Final Four. I, that was my biggest problem. I, was, I know <laughs> it was my biggest problem. But it didn't happen. I actually I had Duke beating Gonzaga 88 to 79 in five, because you had to put a score up there in case there's a tiebreaker. Yeah. I had Duke winning it all, and of course I knew my bracket was blown. And, I had Duke winning And it all. Gonzaga as soon as they, you know, Auburn. And there was another person in our newsroom, Mariah, who had Auburn in there, and I said, you might win this, until they didn't win. <laughs> and that does it for the sports guys. I'm always middle of the pack when it comes to March Madness anyway.